Hello, it's Andrew and Inka. We do a ton of food exploration on this channel. We've made hundreds of dishes so far. So with autumn around the corner, we thought we'd take it easy this week and kind of do like a little recap of like our favorite dishes to make this season during the fall, which happens coincidentally to be my favorite season. Is it really? It is because I feel like it's the perfect weather. It's like the most beautiful season. Mm. In my opinion, there's like the most Vibrant colors. Crisp weather. Crisp of weather. in the fall. Oh yes. And, good segue, I love apple picking. Fall, autumn, is the season for apple picking. It's also when there's like the most varieties of apples at farmer's markets. Definitely, yes. And you so kindly made an apple galette for us to enjoy while we take this endeavor. I did, I made this late last night. I love making this because it's relatively easy. This is kind of like my take on another recipe I do a lot, which is the French apple tart. So same base. Underneath these layers of apples, I don't know if you can see, there's like an apple Oh, I compote. see a little goo. Compote. Okay, apple yeah. Compote. yeah. I use Honeycrisp apples and Granny Smith apples. Yeah. You could use whatever variety of apples. Do you have like a favorite <laughs> apple? My go-to is Fuji. Oh. Yeah. Have you I tried? I feel like it's the most reliably crisp and it's a nice balance of sweet and tart. Have you tried Snapdragon? I don't think so. You need to find, go to the farmer's market and find Snapdragon. It is very I think, crisp. I, I think we're just gonna make an apple picking video now. Yes! <laughs> if you apple. grow a cool apple, reach out to us. Oh my God, yes. All right, keep going. Apple compote is, I use Granny Smith apple, Honeycrisp, because Honeycrisp for its sweetness, yeah. Granny Smith for its more tart mm. flavor, and then in goes some lemon juice, lemon zest, apple juice. I didn't actually show this on camera, but I did put a splash of white wine. So I let that cook down until it became this, this yeah. apple compote. And also sugar, of course, sugar. There was, there was sugar in this. And then I just sliced up the apples to put on top. And nice then- fanned out design. Yes, just wrap the puff pastry around it. Yeah. And on this, just some egg six wash. Six sides. Yes, six sides. A hexagon. You know what I'm realizing? No. Is a Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme just a savory galette. I mean, look at the shape. What Am defines I right, a galette? Huh? I, think, I think it's the hexagon. Really? That's what, that's, that's what I'm trying to argue. I'm looking forward very much to eating this. Okay, a galette does have to be open in the center, so it's not that. A flat, round cake of pastry or bread. There is no hexagon. Oh, so the opening doesn't even matter. No, I guess not. What do you I think, know? I think it might be a galette, guys. <laughs> Anyways, just try it. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Also put cinnamon and nutmeg in oh, there. Oh, yeah. Look at that, the, the compote layer. Is this an Inca original? Yeah. This design with the compote on the bottom? Yeah. I was just like- It's so smart. Usually you have an apple pie, it's all Thank integrated you. together. You have very little control on how much mush to other apple there is. And here it's just layered, like obviously. Obviously. <laughs> this is so smart. I always forget how good apples are. Mm. And then the fall comes and I'm like, I'm eating an apple twice a day. And like, yeah, they're available year round, but when they're in really the season, season. yeah. Mm. And I think apples are also so versatile. You can do it and you totally. can make, you can cook so many things with it. Yeah. Like remember that time I did the chocolate Savory curry? Savory foods, the yeah. curry, and I put the chocolate, yes, but the mm -hmm. apple really carries through because that sweetness is a very natural sweetness. It's like adding yeah. honey to, to savory things. Or like an apple, pork chop combination. You Ooh, have that? yes, like an applesauce. Yeah. It's also obviously very good in pastries, like galette or like the apple strudel I made in that Binging with Babish for 24 hours yeah. video. And Glorious Bastards recipe. Yes, that movie really made right. me want to eat it. Even though it was a very crazy scene, but you'll like this. I do, a lot. The icon of the season, the pumpkin. Mm. In my pumpkin video, I made a pumpkin stuffed with a shrimp stew. And I did an orange foods for 24 hours video where I basically played with all of these vegetables that were orange, butternut yeah. squash, ravioli. In the pumpkin video, I also made pumpkin pie. Mm. I love pumpkin pie. I think it's charmingly a little bit of a more boring pie, mm. to be totally honest. I get why people don't like it. Mm. Do you ever make pumpkin pie? You don't like it. Too boring. I can already tell. <laughs> can I talk? <laughs> I've never been too partial with pumpkin yeah. and sweets, but I like savory pumpkin dishes. Mm. So I actually want to try your shrimp stew pumpkin. That's kind of like a mild flavor relative to the mm. other gourds. I'm looking forward to nice, roasty, warm, comforting stew-like things. Mm. Something I actually haven't made since the video where I first made it was the fondant potato. It almost looks like a seared scallop, but then it's slowly roasted in a meat stock 
that all just kind of sucks up into the potato. It's almost like a creamy center with a crusty top and this delicious sauce that goes on top. Which sounds ideal in both ways, right? You yeah. want the crunchy on the outside and you want the creamy on the inside. Speaking of potatoes, what I did for the Tell Us What You Made potato episode where I made the sweet potato latte, which is a very popular fall, winter drink. Mm, you know, something yeah. that goes well with, I feel like, sweater weather. You just yeah. want something comforting and a little more filling. Yeah. Everybody knows about the famous pumpkin latte, mm -hmm. but you had a latte with a vegetable, the sweet potato, actually in it. Yeah, like the puree in itself. And it's so good. It's not just the flavor, it's Never also the texture. It. Hot drinks in general, you know? It's a season where you need to be warmed. Like the uh, hot butter rum? Hot buttered rum. Sounds kind of gross. I know you have an aversion to too much butter in Excuse recipes. Me. It's just a dollop though. You gotta think of it like if you put heavy cream in a drink, basically the same thing. Mm. You're just using a smaller amount of a thicker milk fat product. We need to do a tell us what you made soups. I am down. What soups have I made? French onion soup as a soup. Oh, yeah. Remember that? That looked really good. I'm not a big fan of cheese in soup, to be honest. Really? When I drink French onion soup, I do it for the cheese. It is a sandwich turned into a soup, in my opinion. I'd rather have a grilled cheese with caramelized onions inside. I can't believe I've eaten half of your galette. So that's I was I was not planning to eat this much apple dessert. Compo is good. Yeah. One ingredient, I think in early fall, that people don't usually associate with fall, is the grape. Ooh, yes. Yeah. I remember last year, last fall, when yeah. I went to the farmer's markets, there were so many, like Concord, is it Concord? Muscat grape, mus, mus, muscat. Muscat, muscat grapes. Muscat? And I think Concord grapes, but they were just like so juicy. I had to bring them home and do something with it. Yeah, the fall season is the harvest season. One recipe I've always wanted to try is sausages roasted with grapes. Have you ever heard of this? No. It's a thing. Oh my gosh, you need to try roasted grapes on toast, like with a bit of like mascarpone or like ricotta. It is so good, and a drizzle of honey. Oh my gosh. Is it basically just like a jam at that point? Yes, but like fresher. Because mm. jam, I feel like a lot of times it feels like too sweet. It feels yeah. like too sugary. But roasted grapes is almost like it, it caramelizes in yeah. its own juices. It's like bur a burst fruit. Yes. Roasted. And I don't, I really don't think like any added sugar will give you that same depth of flavor. Mm. Like there's something about it roasting in the oven. And I learned about it from uh, Bridget, watching British Bake Off. Did you really? That's why mm. I wanted to try it. Yeah, I want that, but with a big sausage on the side. Okay. I think it's very similar to like apples in a pork chop. That is true. Grapes in a sausage. Yes. Fruits and meats together. Turkey, cranberry. Every time I have cranberry sauce, I'm like, why do I only eat Fruits and savory applications once or twice a year. Duck and orange sauce. You made. Uh, yes, okay. I did. Orange, yes, yes. Orange is not orange yeah. now. But duck orange. Yes, duck yes. Can we just do fruit and meat? Tell us what you made. Fruit and meat. meat I, I made meat fruit once. That's not really the, the same thing. The one thing. from uh, dinner. Yeah, the, dinner by, by Heston Blumenthal. Yes, I tried it. Yeah. It was very good. That's a throwback. Not the one you made, the real one. I pretty much nailed it, so we've had the same experience. <laughs> What's the number one thing you're most looking forward to making this fall? I want to see what's in season this fall. One thing that I used to make more, haven't made in a while, is just a simple applesauce. And having a hot applesauce with a little vanilla ice cream, it's just a very easy way of getting like 78% of the satisfaction of an apple pie without going through all the effort of making it. Apple sauce. Lightly sweetened, natural tartness, mm. some warming spices, maybe a dash of bourbon in that. Each night, microwave a little bit of bowl, a little scoop of ice cream. Perfect treat in the fall. You know what I really want to experiment with? Figs. Figs, okay. I feel like every time I've had fig in a dish, I have loved it. Whether it's like a fig balsamic vinegar or like figs on like a banana cake or yeah. like figs in a salad. It is but, a very inherently savory fruit. You know what I mean? Yes. What do we just talked about, about meat and fruit? Mm. Is there a meat that I can pair with figs? The classic is prosciutto. That is true. Pear, fig, and prosciutto. But is there something else? What condiment do you like on your hot dogs? What? Answer the question. Ketchup. I knew you would say that, which is why I'm going to pitch that you make a fig condiment for a hot dog in place of ketchup. Because really, ketchup is so sweet. Like, on a it's sausage, so it's- so good it's, on a it's hot like, dog. But it's a bit excessive. I think we could be putting other fruity sugar things 
on sausages, but maybe we can make it better. With a like fake a fig. thing for a hot dog. I'm down. I'm gonna make it happen. So we just wanted to make a quick video. If you have any fall things you're excited about, we'd love to hear about it. Or if you have suggestions and things you'd like to see us cover for the upcoming season, mm. love to hear about that too. Well, thanks for watching. And bye for now. Thank you. Bye.